In India, Mahatma Gandhi was basically the poster boy during independence. He was well known for his hunger strikes and non-violent ways which helped him unite the country. Gandhi ji played a big role in India's freedom struggle and there's no denying that. But not many people know about some of his best kept secrets. In Baba Saheb Ambedkar's own words, Gandhi age is a dark age of India. And trust me when I say this, some of these facts will shock you. Welcome to In Fact. Today we talk about 10 dark facts about Mahatma Gandhi. Before we start, just a disclaimer that we don't intend to offend anyone. We have nothing but love for this country and its freedom fighters. None of these facts are made by us. You can find all of these facts on the internet and links are in the description too. Number 10, Origin of Dynastic Politics. Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter Indira married a Muslim man by the name of Firoz Khan. She changed her religion and became a Muslim, Maimuna Begum. The marriage took place in a London mosque. Gandhi ordered Nehru to ask Firoz to change his surname from Khan to Gandhi. Thus Firoz Khan became Firoz Gandhi. A lot of people still think the present Gandhi family which heads the Congress party in India is a descendant of Gandhi. Through this absurd action of his, Gandhi pioneered the concept of dynastic politics in India. Number 9 caste system Gandhi was not an emancipator of Indian lower caste Hindus he was a firm believer of the absurd Hindu caste system Gandhi coined the term harijan for lower caste Hindus to further create more division in the already divided Hindu community Gandhi did not open a single door of any Hindu temple in Gujarat his home province for the untouchables If lower caste persons were God's people then as per this twisted logic of Gandhi other Hindu caste members comprised of devil's people he actually maintained two papers one in English and one in Gujarati in English he posed himself as a supporter of movements against caste system untouchability etc but in Gujarati paper he actually support the age old dogmas In 1932 Gandhi collected 1.3 crore rupees in the name of Tilak Swaraj Fund which was collected for the use of untouchables however he did not spend even a single penny on untouchables instead of eliminating the caste system Gandhi reinforced it by dragging his absurd obsolete religious interpretation into every issue number 8 partition Gandhi was responsible for India's partition. Everybody may not know this, but it's true that Gandhi was responsible for India-Pakistan partition along with other leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru and Muhammad Jinnah. Gandhi said if Pakistan is created, it will only happen after his death. However, it was Gandhi who signed first on the proposal of creation of Pakistan. Gandhi had a good friendship with his India's enemy, Viceroy Mountbatten, who was responsible for the partition. Gandhi even visited him at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. You can even find a picture of Gandhi and Mountbatten with Edwin are laughing together. It's not that it's a bad thing, but after so many strikes and protests and fighting back against someone, then appear to be laughing with them, it just doesn't feel right. Number 7, simplicity. Well, this is one of the things Gandhi ji was famous for, his simplicity. Turns out he was not that simple after all. Gandhi advised people to live a simple life, but his simplicity was such that when he was in jail, there were three women to serve him there. And when he was outside, during the daytime, Gandhi spent the time in the huts, but the night in the rest houses of the Birlas. Number 6, violence. Throughout his whole life, Gandhi kept on insisting that he supports non-violence. During the first and the second world war, millions of Indians were drafted to fight for the Britishers by the colonial rulers. Gandhi actively urged the Indians to enlist in the British army and fight for the empire during the first world war and even at the time of the second world war he sent indian army to fight for england he also joined a government campaign for indians to volunteer for the british army number 5 homosexual relationship yeah you heard it right gandhi was actually involved in a homosexual relationship when he was in south africa gandhi spent many years in south africa before coming back to india over there he came in contact with herman kalenbach gandhi was a practicing lawyer and kalenbach was a french architect who arrived there to design kalenbach even donated his land in south africa to gandhi for building a settlement for a satyagrahi family number 4 Races Gandhi lived in South Africa between 1893 and 1915 leading a series of campaigns for the rights of Indian minority at that time he was no advocate of racial equality his aim was to ensure that Indians were not treated on the same level as Africans who he referred to in his writings as kafirs Gandhi called Africans kafirs this was a derogatory term used for black africans at that time so basically it is equivalent to the n word that wasn't the only instance where he insulted the natives of South Africa there was one point in his 21 years of life in South Africa where he was sent to prison and kept to the black natives he complained about the same and said that indians are way about the black natives of south africa and that these natives have a lifestyle of animals and live in dirty conditions and are very troublesome he considered whites as a supreme race followed by indians and then blacks at the bottom kana removed a statue of gandhi from its main university campus on 6th october 2016 after a group of lecturers and students campaigned for the statue to be removed they rightly said that gandhi made racist comments about africans gandhi also supported the british during the baptha rebellion in 1906 a large number of black zulus were massacred number 
betraying comrades gandhi used to say that subhas chandra bose was like his own son but gandhi went on a hunger strike until bose left his post in congress gandhi also promised british government to hand over bose to them as bose was wanted at that time gandhi also kept people in the dark about saying bhagat singh the truth is that he never tried to contact the viceroy about bhagat singh's issue this is said by the friend of the viceroy named manmat nath in his writings gandhi feared about the popularity of bhagat singh if gandhi had launched a nationwide movement seeking the withdrawal of death sentences against bhagat singh sukhdev tapar and shivram rajguru numerous indian citizens would have gladly participated in it bhagat singh bravely came out in the open by indulging in a bold act of defiance against the british colonial rule he and batukeshwar that exploded two improvised bomb inside the central legislative assembly in delhi on 8th april 1929 they threw leaflets from the gallery and shouted slogans both of them quoted arrest without offering any resistance bhagat singh rajguru and sukhdev were hanged by the british on march 23 1931 bhagat singh achieved martyrdom at the young age of 23 he was an intellectual atheist revolutionary and would have easily become the universal poster boy for anti imperialism even before the global legend che guevara who was born in 1928 britishers felt highly threatened by bhagat singh's popularity that's why they conspired to eliminate him gandhi was the only one who could have saved him by using his influence with the britishers to save bhagat singh and his fellow revolutionaries this really gives gandhi a bad image because even now people love bhagat singh more than any other freedom fighter number 2 death of his wife not only was gandhi responsible for death of his comrades he was also responsible for death of his wife kasturba bai gandhi and his wife were in house arrest and were lodged in aga khan palace in pune kasturba bai was suffering from pneumonia and a penicillin shot was a cure for that disease gandhi didn't allow that shot stating that it's foreign and said keep faith in god Kasturba started suffering more and passed away due to no medicine. Only weeks later he was bedridden with malaria and a doctor prescribed quinine yet another foreign drug. His faith in God completely vanished and allowed the doctors to administer the drug to survive. He even allowed appendectomy on himself by the British doctors. This is hypocrisy to the next level. What did you guys think of this list so far? But wait, the next one will make you feel all kinds of emotions. Before we dive into it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you learn something new. Number 1 sexual relations Gandhi used to preach celibacy he always told his followers to shun sex and stay away from women including their wives Gandhi used to sleep with girls aged between 18 to 25 very few people know about this but it's true the girls who slept with Gandhi accepted this Gandhi also used to say that he is doing all this for his brahmachari experiments what did he want to prove from these experiments your guesses are as good as mine Gandhi himself accepted this that at the time of going to london for higher studies he decided to keep himself away from meat liquor and sex but he accepted that he could not control himself in the matter of sex Sarala Devi Chaudhary a Bengali nationalist activist Danish missionary Esther Faring and a English admiral's daughter Madeline Slade who took the name of Meera Ben Dr Sushila Nair is around 30 or more and his two grand nieces a married Aba Gandhi aged 18 years and an unmarried Manu Gandhi aged 19 years were among many women with whom Gandhi shared intimate relations these women spent a lot of time with Gandhi alone and were even exempted from the routine tasks in the ashram which everyone else had to do Gandhi also described Sarala Devi as his spiritual wife his own biological son devdas gandhi knew about this and the first thing he did after completing the formalities of cremating the dead body of mahatma gandhi was to rush to manu gandhi and told her to not to disclose the 6 to 8 handwritten diaries that she had maintained regularly where she wrote about the sexual ways of mahatma gandhi since those diaries had explosive material and authentic literature which could have damaged the image that the indian masses had of mahatma gandhi so that's it for this video what did you think of our list comment down below see you in the next one